Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games, and today I kind of want to give you a different kind of video. Uh, in the pro scene, I've seen that Vegeta has been topping a lot recently, and I just feel like people don't really understand or how to deal with Vegeta leader. Um, of course, that's the blue Vegeta leader, not the red Vegeta leader. We haven't seen that leader top at all recently, at all. Um, and I want to give you my thoughts on how to beat this leader. Uh, once you do the math, it's a very easy leader to beat every single time you verse it. Most decks can just d deal with it easily. But I want to give you my stance on how to beat the leader. So the reason why uh, Vegeta is so good is because he has that critical... Uh, where he can take a life and he gains critical for the turn. So he's probably one of the strongest aggressive leaders we have. And the reason why is because he chooses how fast the game goes. He can choose if he wants to go very slow or very quick. And in the state of the meta, looks like if he just goes quick, he just wins instantly. So he's usually a deck that wins around turn 3 or turn 4. Um, so he's an aggressive to no fault, I believe, unless you know how to beat him. And especially with those new black cards that just came out, like Mirror and um, Trunks, it just helps it out so much. Um, especially, you know, when they crit and that they get furthering destruction for first turn, you know, that's turning your six cards in hand to, uh, no, your eight life to six life without actually adding any to, into hand. So the, uh, the, the cons of uh, playing the deck is that it is very bricky. Um, it feels like you have to have one blue mana and two red mana for the deck to actually work well. Um, of course, it can just like have one, uh, like three red mana, and it's still okay because of the furthering destruction just pushes the game so hard. But usually, the deck wants to play um, one man, uh, one blue mana, and two red mana. Um, so this is a deck profile, a, a kind of deck that I've been testing with. Um, I believe this will be one of the most seen decks for this leader. Um, and I'm going to show you how to de de defeat this leader. So, the way you beat this leader isn't by going into the aggression. You need to hold back from the aggression and you need to beat him in the later stages. Because every single turn, that leader is going to crit himself and then he's going to go down life. And you, what you need to do is you need to defend against that. So, the longer you hold off against him, even though you know you want to awaken, you want to swing hard at him, you just can't. The math for the leader just doesn't work out. You want to swing at him when you can, and he's at low enough life. Um, so, another really good way to defeat Vegeta is to get the negates off early. Uh, rather than in the late game, usually when you're playing like tempo decks, you can just go into... Um, negating, uh, like you have to negate late game, not early game, um, because you need to negate his criticals. The, the game isn't going to last turn until 6, it's going to last till turn 3, turn 4, and hopefully you can beat it by turn 5. So we'll go into the mulligan stages. Um, if you're going first, what you want to keep is maybe one boo. You want to keep your objections and let's say your um, result of trainings just so you can mana them. You don't want to draw into them late game and then like off your piccolos um, or your 10k pumps because well you will just lose. So you want to keep them in hand, don't send them back, keep them and just place them in mana. Um, also keeping like your 10k pumps like your piccolos and uh, your 10k combo cards. So the ones that combo then come onto the field. Of course, that one's more of an obvious thing because you want to just swing into their leader a little bit. Um, but you want to keep your 10k combos because you probably turn 3, turn 2, you could be awakened rather than being awakened at like turn 4. So that's the mulligan phase. Uh, it's kind of standard if you're going first or second. But it's it's those are the things you want to keep. So if you're going first against the leader, uh, what you want to do is just mana and pass. You will be expecting a Carver from them, um, you'll be expecting a crit Vegeta, so he crits, and then chucking your furthering destruction down, um, and he probably will unyielding and then chuck a Carver down. So what you want to do to defend against that, if you have the negate in hand, you want to negate his first uh, critical, uh, like leader attack. 
Reason why is because you may not be able to combo over at later stages. You just want to combo over it this once, uh, like negate it this once, uh, so you can deal with it late turns. Um, as far as the Kaba, you can combo over that Kaba by this point. Um, you haven't played anything this turn. You don't want to play um, Boo first turn or like let's say Kain saying Goku to search things because you want to combo over everything that he's going to throw at you. So that's going first if you're versing the deck. If you're going second, um, what you want to do is just mana pass because all they would have done that turn, they would have played their um, they, they would have either played Boo if they want the blue mana down, or they're gonna uh, search their furthering destruction with a manipulative god chumper, um, so they can get those furthering destructions as early as they can. Um, so if you're going second versing, no, for the second turn, if you're going first, you just still want to mana and pass. The reason why, I know it like you, you could chuck maybe down a boo down, or you might be able to play something to swing into the leader. You don't want to do that. Um, that's a turn that you can get punished for. You just want to mana, pass, and combo everything over everything you can. You will have a low hand size. That's perfectly fine. You'll be getting cards from your life uh, because you're going to be comboing over every single critical. You don't have to combo over every single just non-critical, um, but that's something you should be doing. Um, so what you'd be expecting from them, maybe another Kaba, uh, of course, you want to kill the Carbers off when they swing. You don't want to leave those on the field. I've seen a few players who leave them on the field so they can crit themselves, so they are lower in the early turns. But you don't want to. You just want to kill it off early. Um, if they played two red mana, um, that means they're probably going to drop a Miraculous Comeback Gohan. Um, miraculous Comeback Gohan on turn two on curve is going to be really insane to deal with, um, especially with it being 2,500, uh, 25,000. And um, you know, dealing double strike. Uh, best way, if you have some Go Ten Family Justice in your deck, you want it to mulligan f just for that. Um, but at the same time, you can't always win those. But if they didn't play Red Mana, which they usually don't, they're probably going to have a Carba, and they might bean and maybe chuck down another Carba again. Um, and that's probably that for that turn. They may play Boo. They may play Manipulative God Chumper. Um, but that's just giving you, you like your leader more time. Um, of course, combo over over every single critical Vegeta. Um, same if you if they went first, you just want to mana pass and just go on everything that I just said for the second turn. For the third turn, you can play a boo. You can play a um. You can play a boo. You can play a kind Saiyan Goku or something that searches just for one mana. You don't want something that costs two mana. Um, like bundle, you don't want to play bundle, he's just going to give you 5k. Um, the reason why I say that is because you might be playing Bean in your deck, and if you are playing Bean, you can just untap that mana. So when you untap that mana, you still have more cards to combo into. At this point in the game, you may not have a lot of cards in hand, so maybe just getting that extra one little draw in will help so much. Um, you'll be expecting a huge turn from them this turn. They'll be at um, either, yeah, they'll be at three mana this turn. So expect ultimate comeback Gohan. You'll be expecting a mirror play. So, you know, they banish their drop and then it adds, like, puts it onto the field and it's critical. Also, maybe a Masked Saiyan. I've seen a few players playing Masked Saiyan just to get the double, uh, like, the double striking 20k. And um, you just mainly want to survive this turn. This is probably their big turn. Um, hopefully, by that point, you might have had six life. So you will awaken, you will get cards in. Um, it's just all about the timing. Um, one thing that a lot of players do do against first in their deck, they'll swing with the Vegeta first and they'll get the critical in first. Um, you can maybe try and combo over that. And the reason why I say that is because they may be dropping a um, Miraculous Comeback Gohan. And when they drop that Miraculous Comeback Gohan, you want to negate the Miraculous Comeback Gohan. The reason why is because they're at three mana. If they drop it, they're at two mana. So that means that if you negate this, that means they can't bean and then untap the other two or the like, you know, one blue and one red. So that's the one you want to negate. That they'll just pretty much stop all their other combos. Um, it will help a lot just negating that one attack. If they went carb off, they went mirror first. Uh, it's it's a bit different. 
Um, but that's what I'd recommend if on going uh, on the third turn if you're going first. If you're going second, uh, pretty much the same thing, but just a bit more offensive, I'd say. So for the fourth turn, fourth turn, they would have ran out of a lot of steam. Um, they might not be swinging as hard. Maybe they'll be trying to push real hard for the game, but by that time, they're not going to have a lot left. They've used all their combos in the third turn. If they haven't, then expect all this on the on the fourth turn because they'll be huge. They'll swing just as much as they did the last turn, but maybe even stronger. But in saying that, you'll have more to defend against with. Um, so if you survive that turn, that, their Vegeta may be down to three life, they may be down to two life. Um, and on the fifth turn, that's where you should win. Um, when, when they're f uh, on turn five, their Vegeta's two life, you want to swing their leader. If you have further destruction, you put that down instantly and combo literally everything you can into it. Um, maybe not if you have like a 15k thing that maybe you could just poke him again. Um, and that's how you should beat him on the fifth turn. Uh, tech cards, so I'd say Family Justice. That's a card you should play just to get rid of the Gohan. Um, it helps. It is very... Uh, you know, if they drop a turn two or turn one or turn two, you can just pop it and then don't have to deal with it. Um, Jaco's Jaco's are really good. Um, now it's a bit hard to choose on which card you want to Jaco back. I've personally been adding back their Furthering Destruction. It's it's a bad play, but that's all they're putting down. You don't want to add back their Unyielding to hand because if you give them back their Unyielding, they'll just swing with something else, and then it's just going to deal more damage to you in the long run. If not, it's just going to be a further destruction chomper. And I've seen plays like just have to mana that just so they can play things the next turn for it. Um, and those are probably the two big cards I'd, I'd try and side against them or you, you main deck against it if you need to go against Vegeta. And as you can see, um, another card, maybe if you're playing a green variant, maybe add 16 in. Um, 16 if you can on turn four, if it feels like he's been slow playing you a little bit. Um, not a lot of the crit Vegeta's right now are playing um, uh, 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 Sun Goten. And the reason why is because it looks like 16's being rotated, well not rotated out, but he's being pushed out of the meta because a lot of, with a lot of these more faster cards. So if you can like combo over everything, you know, chucking beans on your, um, on your 16 on the third or fourth turn, um, it'll be huge for you in the long run. So just to recap, you just want to mana, pass, and combo over every single critical. And then maybe um, if you can combo over every attack early game. The late game is a little bit different. You will have less cards and you need to take those cards to your life. But by no means you should be you should never take any criticals. Uh, it just gives crit, uh, crit Vegeta too much advantage. Um, and yeah, that's it for the video. I hope this helps a lot of players. Um, maybe Vegeta will start saying let's play this format. We'll see what happens. He's been around for two, like uh, set one and set two, and he's a huge impact to the game. And I, I just wanted to give you my advice on how to beat the leader. So yeah, that's it for the video. I really hope this helps. Maybe it'll help you in your locals. Um, and yeah, give us a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you think I'm wrong. Comment down below if you think I'm right. Um, and these are just my opinions, of course, at the end of the day. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.